In this video, I'm showing you how to get a custom cursor in Roblox just like this, which is on my screen right now, and there are so many cursors to go and choose from. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to so the full guide. Without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this video. The first step is, is you need to go and open up your internet browser. So I'm personally using Google Chrome, and all you want to do is come to a search engine, such as Google. And all you want to do is go and search for a website called Icons8, just like so and go and search for it. Then all you want to do is make sure you come to icons8.com. On the Icons8 website, we can go and find a ton of different cursors which we can go and use on Roblox, which is a really great website. So all you want to do is come here and make sure Icons is selected and you want to go and search for cursor, just like so, and then you can go and hit search. Then it's going to take a moment to load and here are all of the cursors we can go and download. As you can see, there are so many to go and choose from, so you want to go and find one which suits you best. You can also go and be a bit more specific as well um, in the search box. But I'm going to go and find one I like the look of, so personally I quite like this one here. It looks quite different to your sort of default one. So all you want to do is go and click on download just like so. And as you can see, we go and get this option here called download cursor icon. Now, all you want to do is go, come under PNG sizes just here. If you don't have the 64 by 64 option, you may need to come down to the bottom and go and type it in manually. And when you go and type this first box in here, it's going to automatically change the other one. So all you want to do is make sure it's 64 by 64, and then you can go and click on download. Then it's going to go and drop the zip file in the bottom of your browser, or you may need to go and open up your file explorer and go to a downloads folder and find it there. Then once you've got it, let's just go and drag it onto our desktop just like so, and there we go. Then for now, we can come and close off of our browser and all you want to do is go and open up the zip file. So go and double click on it just like so and it's going to go and open it up for us. Now all you want to do is drag both of these out of the zip file. Just go and highlight them just like so and then go and drag them onto your desktop. Then they're now going to be on our desktop and as you can see, I'm just going to drag them into the middle. Then once they're in the middle, all you want to do is hover your mouse over it. And as you can see, this one has the dimensions of 164 by 164. Well, this one has 64 by 64. We want the 64 by 64 one. So you can go and delete the other one and you can go and delete that zip folder as well. Then what you want to do is go and right click on your desktop and go and click on new. And you want to go and name this folder Roblox Cursors or you can name it anything, it doesn't really matter. Then what you want to do is go and drag the cursor into the folder just like so. So all you want to do is go and right click on it once and go and click on copy. And then you want to go right click and go and click on paste. And as you can see, we've got two different cursors here. Now the next thing you want to do is come to the bottom of your computer and go and click on the search icon just like so. And you need to go and search for Roblox. You want to go and make sure you can come and see the Roblox player. So you may need to go and install Roblox if you haven't already got it installed. Then all you want to do is right click on it and go and click open a file location just like so. And here it is. Then where it says Roblox player, go and right click on it again. And then you can go and click on open a file location. And all you want to do is go and double click on content. Then once you're in content, go and click on textures. And then all you want to do is go and locate cursors. If you can't find any of this at the current time, all you need to do is come and use the search box and you can go and search for cursors. But for me, I can go and find it here. So I'm gonna go and double click on cursors just like so. And then you can go and click on keyboard and mouse just here. And here we are. Then all you want to do is make sure you can see both of these at the same time or just remember the names. But what we need to go and do is, is copy this file name and paste it here and copy this file name and paste it here. So let's go and click on it once just like so. Right click and click copy. Then come down here, click here and edit the name again. Then delete that and go and click and go and click paste. Then once again, all you need to do is click on it once and click on the name and it's going to go and allow us to go and copy it. So right click and click copy come back to the bottom one, click on it once, then we can delete this and right click and go and click paste again, and boom, there we go. Then all you want to do is highlight these just like so and drag them into the other folder, or you can right click and go and click on copy uh, just here, and then we're gonna paste them in here just like so. Then you're gonna go and have this option here saying the destination has two files with the same names. All you want to do is go and click replace the files in the destination. Then there you go, you've now gone and got the two cursors. And once you move the new cursors into that folder, they're now gonna go and be replaced. And when you open up Roblox, you're now gonna be seeing that cursor, but it's only gonna be that cursor when you're in the Roblox game, which I'm gonna go and show you now. And once you load into Roblox, you're gonna go and see your brand new mouse cursor, and it looks really cool. And as you can see, this is the exact one I went and changed. 
changed. And just a quick note as well, if your Roblox player goes and does an update, this means your mouse is going to be removed and you're going to be having the default mouse textures again. So to go and repair it, all you need to do is follow this tutorial again and go and replace those files with your new mouse. And then you're going to go and get this brand new cursor or mouse. It doesn't really matter. And you can go and enjoy it in Roblox. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.